Hi, I'm Roxy Rose, and uh, again, here I am again, just blabbing, uh, blabbing my mouth off, um, talking about transitioning late in life. Um, I transitioned when I was uh, to, uh, 47. I'm, I'm 49 now. Uh, today I want to talk briefly, hopefully, if I can keep my mouth shut sometimes um, and, and not go in circles and jabber too much. Um, I want to talk about um, fat redistribution. Um, and some people, uh, some trans women know about it, some trans women uh, don't. Um, it seems to be somewhat elusive for a lot of people. It's kind of like that infamous uh, unicorn, you know, does it really exist? Um, I've seen photographs and I've talked to some trans women out there that, um, yeah, it does uh, exist. Um, but it's very difficult to accomplish. Um, one of the hormones that can help is progesterone or progesterone um, but you got to be careful because that is one of those unruly hormones uh, that can be very hard to uh, figure out the correct dosage and a lot of doctors won't spend the time uh, trying to figure that out so be careful with that um, but it, it can help in a an aid in uh, weight uh, re or fat redistribution um, what I've also found is uh, that Weight loss, well, of course, you lose weight and then put it back on, uh, and it, it does help and it does go back into the right areas. And we're not talking about lose two pounds, put on two pounds, you know. Unfortunately, we have to be talking about, you know, lose 10 pounds and then put on two and then lose, lose 10 more and then put on two if your body can handle that, you know. If you're already slender, well, uh, you have your work. Uh, set out for you. As for me, I was um, I wasn't a small person. Uh, in fact, um, uh, I kind of hate to say it, but uh, I've lost about 80 pounds now over the last couple of years. I'm proud of that, but I hate to admit how big I really was. Um, but um, I was one of those persons that um, kind of was big on top, these are implants, I'm not suggesting that, but you know, broad shoulders, I had a lot of girth up here, and I had no butt whatsoever, I still don't have much, but I am happy to say that it does work, you know, it is, there is such thing of fat redistribution, um, because like I said, I had no butt whatsoever, I still don't have any hips, unfortunately, um, a small waist ha helps emphasize whatever butt you do ha have, um, but I had one of those deficit uh, bodies where the, it, instead of coming out where your butt was, it kind of went in. Well, uh, now I don't have um, uh, much of a butt, but I have some definition back there. And like I said, you know, a, a small waist kind of helps. Um, uh, but, but then the small waist draws attention to your broad shoulders, so there's a problem there. Uh, but, but anyways, um, I want to say that uh, fat redistribution is uh, possible, but very difficult. And don't be depressed if you don't achieve it. Um, and it takes a lot of work. And like I said, it, it's not about a couple pounds here or there and then uh, losing and then gaining. But it's, uh, it's more drastic than that. But be safe and be healthy. You know, make sure you eat healthy and uh, don't diet um, too badly and uh, ruin your health because of it. Um, a lot of that, uh, you know, weight loss um, for us trans women sometimes has to do with uh, losing muscle mass. Um, you know, uh, so uh, we're always uh, trying to achieve a little less muscle mass and then, and then, and then do plan on uh, putting some weight back on and it, it, it perhaps uh, will go in the right areas, but there's no guarantee for that. Um, in fact, um, you know, depending on your hormone balances, and you may have heard of this, you know, uh, you know, if you're, some people think that if you're really high in estrogen, well, the, the um, fat goes right to your butt. Well, that is true in some cases, and that can be true uh, with progesterone. Uh, in fact, um, I have a sister-in-law that uh, recently just sprouted a butt, 
And uh, because of my knowledge in hormones, I, I know that she was taking uh, birth control pills and uh, maybe even some uh, progesterone uh, for to ease menopause system uh, her uh, menopause um, uh, um, you know I think she was having a hard time during menopause and um, she just sprouted a butt overnight huge one too and uh, and, and it didn't look uh, right and and I could see that there was a hormone imbalance so don't do that on purpose because you could cause trouble elsewhere um, uh, sorry to say she also kind of um, got a little uh, facial hair going on. So uh, don't shoot yourself in the foot by overdosing on progesterone and getting a huge butt, but also getting facial hair. Be very careful. Always be supervised and uh, do your homework. Do your homework well and uh, be very informed. And when you go into the doctor and tell them uh, what you're attempting and what you're trying to do, make sure that you know more than he does or she does. Don't take their advice because a lot of times um, they're not going to have the correct advice. And uh, for some trans women, um, I, I, I truly believe that a lot of trans women are being given the wrong dosages of hormones. So anyways, that's been just a little uh, subject about fat redistribution. Um, I know it hasn't been all that helpful, but um, if you have any questions and you want to uh, send me an email, please do. I've received some email um, on, on some of the other uh, videos that I've made, and I feel real good about that. And, um, and, and keep the mail coming, because uh, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel inspired to do more uh, video, and uh, I love jabbering, so... Um, so it gives me that uh, cause in life to uh, get on uh, the videotape and uh, just start jabbering. So I really enjoyed this and I do appreciate you watching these videos and I love to get letters. So I look forward to um, seeing some more of you and uh, making more videos. This has been Roxy Rose, Late Transitioning and uh, Fat Redistribution. Bye-bye.